Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are measuring the position. This time we are measuring the position with the help of a potentiometer. I have one potentiometer with me. This is a potentiometer. Look at that. It's written there 10 k on. All right. This is a potentiometer. How you see it has three connectors, three legs, yeah? so these are the three connectors, and one knob, and this knob can be turned. Okay, so you can turn the knob, and now let's have a look what is happening. I have here a second potentiometer, and I can tell you it is changing, it is changing the resistance. So I will switch here my resistance to resistance measurement. I will use, use the two connectors at the bottom, eh? this one and this one. Let's see what we are measuring. 9.18 kilo ohms. This is why it is labeled with 10. Eh? Here now, it's labeled with 10. I've used these two, these two connectors here. Eh? So 10. What is happening if I change here? Not really something. Yeah, It will stay. It will stay. Okay. So th it seems like those two don't have any effect. Let's switch to this, to this connector here. Oh, also 10. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see what is done if I turn the knob. Ah, this is changing. Going down to 1, almost 0. So can I can adjust between those two. If I turn fully to the left, I have 0 ohms. If I turn fully to the right, I have 10 kilo ohms. All right. And now let's measure between those two. Aha, uh -huh. now I have here one ohm. I'm fully to the right. Now I turn fully to the left. Now I have here 10 kilo ohms. So what I can do is I can adjust depending on my turning here. It's changing a property, it's changing the resistance. And this is, hey, I mean, exactly what we want to see. Yeah, this is a sensor. This is a okay. It's a sensor for angles, but it's just you know, it's just how the physical form is. There could be also a linear potentiometer. Then this linear potentiometer would change accordingly. We have also three legs. So how is this working inside? How is this working inside? I will show you. So actually, we have seen a potentiometer is nothing more than a resistor. Yeah? So here is the resistor. With the two connectors. These were the two connectors we have seen, those two, yeah, where we measured the 10 kilo ohms. So the, in, in our case, this resistor has 10 kilo ohms. Yeah? And where's the third one? The third one is a sliding connector, yeah, which is can be moved across this resistance surface. All right. So this can be moved here. Yeah, this is sliding. And now actually it's clear what we have seen. So we are dividing this resistance here in two parts. So we have here an R1, we have here an R2. And R1 plus R2 is R, and this is constant. Okay, The total R is constant. And depending on the position of this, we can either, then R1 is either full resistance, we have seen this 10 kilo ohms, or zero. And the other one is vice versa. Okay, so this is how this is working. Yeah? This is exactly how this is working. So if I measure, 
if I measure the resistance between here and here, yeah, I can measure the position of this slider. If I measure the resistance between here and here, I can measure the position of this slider. And since both are working exactly in the opposite way, it's like I could use a differential approach and measure this resistance and this resistance make uh, the, the difference yeah? and I have double sensitivity. Okay, We talked about this when we talked about sensitivity. Yeah, We talked about this, no, not, not when we talked about sensitivity, when we talked about this parallel structure. You can watch it. Yeah? So actually that's it. Yeah, That's it. Yeah? It is easy and cheap. What is the downside? Huh? The downside is, you know, you have some wear. Huh? Every, this is a touching contact and this touching contact is, is scratching across a surface. And so you will rip off or shovel off or rip, yeah, just there is wear on this track. So over time you will influence this art. This is not really constant. Yeah? You will influence it. Yeah? So there is wear. Then there is also corrosion sensitive. Corrosion sensitive. You know, if there is, it's it's a slider. It's touching, and if the surface of the slider is getting corroded for whatever reason, yeah, or there is dust, yeah, it's also dust sensitive. If you cover this 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 material with some dust, or then the slide is not really touching the material, but the dust or the rust, the corrosion, yeah, and so on. So you will have here an an resistance yeah, between the slider and this material, and this will directly influence your measurement. Yeah. However, you see, it's rather easy, it's rather straightforward and can be used, is also widely used, yeah? often in form of such turning knobs to measure angle or there are also linear potentiometers which measure then the linear position. Yeah, yeah. so that's potentiometric position measurement. Next time we are going to talk about inductive position measurement. So this is then working with this device. How this device could measure somehow where is the moving part, yeah? I will explain in the next video. Yeah? So next video, uh, inductive position measurement. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.